Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new weekly calendar view that we can present. So I'm currently in a list and we have a title, start date, end date, and a event type, which is a choice column. What we'll do is go to the drop down of all items and we will click on the create new view. We'll give it a name and now we will choose show as calendar. We now have two defaults. We have a monthly and a weekly. This is new. The one that we save will always open up as default as uh, either the month or weekly. We can save a different view that will have a different uh, default. Let's change the start date as the start date of the calendar and the end date as the end date of the calendar. And let's create the view. By default nothing has changed. We'll see actually uh, the monthly view and we see the events. If we click on the drop down now we have a weekly view and you see that we see only this week and if I click on the 10th I will see the event on, on the 10th and if I click on the 9th it's important to click here because if I click anywhere else it creates a, a form to open up. Okay, so now we can switch between both of them. But let's try to do some um, formatting. So if we want to format, we will go to format this current view. And here for need to apply the formatting separately for the week and the monthly. So let's create a monthly uh, condition and actually uh, we can delete this and create some condition and say if the start date oh by the way we want the event event type which is not here so what we need to do is to go to the list settings and go to the view and um, this is a view of the calendar and we need to add the event type so Let's look for a type and we have the event type and now we can save the view and now we will can also do conditional formatting on it. So I will switch to the view and click formatting new and manage the rules and actually I will edit and say if the event type is equal to internal let's color it in red. And get, let's go back. If the event type is equal to external, it will be green. Okay, but you see actually I applied this and it lo looks very good. But if I switch it to the weekly, the formatting has not been done. We need to do separately for the weekly. So I can choose between the monthly and weekly. And here I need to make the same rules separately. So I will change the event. And if it's equal to internal, I will choose the red. Let's go back. If we, it, it remembers actually and offers the next colors that are, that we did in the monthly, but it's something we need to do separately. So now we, that we saved actually, we will see the formatting and uh, for both the monthly and weekly. Now, as you saw, the default is when I open this view, it always opens up in the monthly. But if we want a new, if we want the user to open up in the weekly, we need to create, it doesn't help if we switch I mean, it will remember the last time where you were. If I switch between the calendar and the month, but separately, if we want always that it will open by default, we need to create a sef separate view, which is the default is weekly. So let's call this weekly and let's start, start date and end date. And actually you will see that now it opens up by default 
in the weekly and not monthly even though we can switch back to to monthly if you uh, the default will be always weekly so hope you enjoyed and see you in the next episode